This video is related to the Insider Tips article in the January 2013 FANUC FA American Newsletter. We are discussing the various ways to program bolt hole circles manually, and in this case using FANUC's conversational programming tool Manual Guide I. Before we start programming, there is some pre-planning to do. At minimum, we need to review the drawing and from that we can start to make some decisions about machining the part. We can determine the material blank size. In this case it will be 5.5 square by 0.75 inches thick. We can determine the sequence of operations. We will spot drill the four holes and then drill through the material. And finally we can select the tools and calculate the cutting conditions. We will start the holes with a quarter inch spot drill at 1000 RPM and a feed rate of 3 inches a minute and then drill through using a 2364th drill at 1100 RPM, again at a feed rate of 3 inches per minute. Programming with Manual Guide Eye is basically the same as programming with G-Code or a CAM system. We first create the part program, then we add the boilerplate to start the part program. This sets up the default G-Codes and conditions. For Manual Guide Eye simulation, we then have to define the material blank size. Then we have to select a tool and start the spindle using the usual MS and T codes. And then for manual guide I, each cycle is a two-part entry. First the process cutting conditions are set, and then the geometry is set. These last three steps are repeated until the part is complete. And finally, we add the boilerplate at the end of the part program to finish things up. So let's move through these steps using manual guide I. First, we must create the program. Press the New Program soft key, enter a program number, and then press the Create soft key. The next step is to insert the boilerplate code using fixed sentences. Press the Continuous menu key until the Start soft key is displayed. Press the Start soft key, cursor down to the Start Program selection, and press the insert soft key. Next we must define the material blank so we can visualize it in Manual Guide Eye's 3D animation. Again press the start key, select the blank tab, make sure that the rectangular blank figure is selected and press select. Now we just need to key in the dimensions of the blank. Uh, 5.5 by 5.5 by 0.75 and the rest of these are zero. And finally hit the insert soft key. Now we must select the spot drilling tool and again we're going to do this with a fixed sentence. We'll select the start soft key, have tool chain selected and press insert. We get this message imperfect word must be changed so we have to go edit where the question marks exist. In this case we're going to use T6 and obviously the offsets that go with that are also 6. We also want to change the spindle speed in this case because we decided we need to go at 1000 RPM for the spot drill. So that's that done and we start adding the actual cycle. So we'll press the cycle soft key. We're going to use center drilling as our first operation. Note all these other different kinds of machining that could be done. But we're going to select center drilling and then press select. Now we need to start entering the information into the conversational program. Uh, machining type we'll leave as normal. The reference point will leave as default. The eye point will make that 100 thou above the part. The cutting depth we're going to go down uh, minus 2 100 thou. And the clearance will make that 100 thou. And the feed rate we said would use would be 3. So we just have to fill that information in and press the insert soft key. Now it's asking us what is the shape of the holes and the hole pattern we're going to use is going to be a circular arc array. So we go down until we find the XY arc points 
and press select. Now it's asking for the base position, which will be zero. The center point of the arc we know is going to be at 1.5 in X and 1 inch in Y. The radius we know is 2.5 inches right off the drawing. The starting point angle is 20 degrees and the interval angles are 20 degrees. And the number of holes we have is 4. So pretty straightforward, press the insert key and that's done. Now we need to select the actual drilling tool, so again back to the start cycle, pick the tool change, insert it, go edit the question marks, and again this time it's the tool 7 is what we're going to use, and we're going to use 1100 RPM as the speed for that drill, and then the offsets need to be changed too. That's all that done. Back down to the end of the program. And now we'll insert the next cycle. Again, it's a whole machine in cycle. This time it's going to be drilling. And all this is going to do is give us a few more parameters to set. And hit the select key. So now we need to start filling in this information. We'll leave the eye point again at 100 thou. Our cutting depth through the part is 0.75. We're going to go past that amount by 150 thou to uh, make sure that we're through the part. Clearance again, we'll leave it 100 thou, and again, that feed rate is defaulting from our previous entry, so we just press insert. Again, we can look at the different shapes. Again, we're going to use the arc, XY arc. Select. Again, our base position is zero. Our center point is 1.5 in X, 1.0 in Y, radius is 2.5, and the starting angle is 20, and the interval angle is 20, and the number of holes is 4. Insert that code, and that's pretty much the code done. We have one last thing to do, and that's to end the program. And again, we're using a fixed sentence. There's just one here that is the end. I can press insert. And that's the program. Now we can just quickly look at a simulation of that. Press the continuous key until we see simulation. Press simulation. Rewind the part. Press the start key. And we'll see the holes being machined. And that's all there is to do. A bolt hole circle in manual guide eye.